Greetings, I'm Pastor Eric Smith, and this is Wakening Grace. Today we welcome Mrs. Jenny Fries, who is the lay leader of St. Andrews by the Sea. Good morning, St. Andrews. As a kid growing up, my life was pretty sweet. I was one of three girls raised in Eagle Rock, California by loving parents. We weren't rich, but we had everything we needed. A home to live in, pets to take care of, fun family vacations. We were blessed in that nothing dramatic ever occurred during our childhood. But just like so many kids out there, I did have some fears, and my worst one was a fear of the dark. I think that's a pretty universal fear for kids, and I struggled with it for many years. It's a good thing I had my favorite nightlight, so I wasn't in total darkness. <laughs> Fast forward to today, and I'm happy to say that the dark doesn't make me feel uneasy anymore. That childhood fear has passed away. As an adult now, I wish I could say that I don't have any fears, worries, or anxieties about anything but that just wouldn't be true. As one transitions into adulthood and beyond, certain fears fall to the wayside and others may pop up in their place, and it's different for everyone. For me, my most consistent worry relates to my family, especially my five daughters. Raising these young ladies has been my biggest joy in life. My husband and I hope we've instilled in them the best values possible and given them a firm foundation on which to build. They have started down the right path and I pray that they will continue being responsible citizens of the world, looking after others, and simply being kind to all. But as a mom, of course I worry about them. It's only natural, but I worry about other things too. The times we are living in right now are especially anxiety provoking. The most current issues we face are of course COVID-19, racism, political turmoil, and an economic downturn. Every single one of us has been affected in some way by these matters, and they most likely have increased our anxiety levels over the past five months. Are these the only things we have to fear? I doubt it. There are universal worries that people have felt throughout time. Fear of failure, anxieties about illnesses, and worry about death. And boy, that just that's just the tip of the iceberg. So what do we have to fall back on? It's this. Even in troubled times, God is with us. He tells us, do not be afraid for I am with you. And this is what Adam Hamilton re reiterates in his book called Unafraid. And this also happens to be the book we are reading for our new small study groups that are beginning soon. I think the study of this book could not come at a better time. As he states in his book, fear is a complex emotion. Sometimes it saves us. More often it robs us of the life we want but we can take our lives back. I love Adam Hamilton's books. His writing is so down to earth and so easy to understand, and he's funny too. I'm super excited to be reading this book at this very time because it is what I need when it comes to dealing with my anxieties. Could it be what you might need as well? I encourage you to join one of the small groups which are forming right now. Whether you are feeling just a little bit of fear or a whole lot of fear, this can help. Let's take back our lives and put fear, worry, and anxiety behind us. It can be done since God is on our side. Will you please pray with me? Dear Lord, we give great thanks for this world around us. It sustains us and gives us immeasurable enjoyments. But this complicated world also has the capacity to bring us fear and anxiety. And as mere human beings, it is difficult for us to handle everything. Lord, 
Please help us not to be afraid, knowing that you are with us. Please comfort us as we lay our worries at your feet. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.